athletes would really like to know about a very disturbing trend in the industry which has always been a hush under you know any uh, emerging trend and topics you know we had a full house today why did crescon really select and venture out into this topic so we've been um, you know in the leadership space for the last 30 years and we found that um, there is a you know there's a lot of change that has happened in the last three decades i've seen people asking for just delivering uh, leadership capabilities in the organization and constantly there has been some challenges that leaders face in terms time in terms of uh, how to get their people to deliver top quality performance and that is one of the things that keeps cxos awake because the only differentiator today is the people in different organizations and the way we inculcate that culture within the organization so that's what C keeps cxos awake and we believe we have the opportunity to help them with this so that they actually have a good night's sleep so lovely and talking about helping Conrad, you have taken over as CEO. Congratulations. And it's really great to see that uh, Crescom has ventured out into uh, creating an impactful dialogue with corporates. What uh, is your vision and what are next steps in this direction? So uh, uh, this is a good start. I mean, like I said, this is a, a lot more to come in this space. But one of the critical things that has differentiated us from uh, a lot of companies that are in this business is that we spend a lot of time, effort, and energy in understanding the business of our clients. And this is one step in that direction to, to bolster the dialogue that we constantly have to understand what's going on out there. Because unless we understand the, the business challenges, it's very difficult to make leadership and development talk to be challenges. And that's one of the reasons this topic is very relevant today. We are living in a VUCA world, and uh, the VUCA became uh, one of the you know, pillars of this discussion today. How are businesses coping with the VUCA world? And many of us look at it as disruption and uh, challenge, but it's also an opportunity. And we are trying to create thought leadership in this space so that we collectively work with corporates to see how we can face these challenges better. And, and talking about uh, thought leadership, uh, Lakshmi, uh, you know, at the introduction of today's event, you also spoke about, uh, you know, a training uh, over 30 years that Crescom has been known for, which is, I think, the bullet proof, proof manager. manager. What is that and why is it so important for corporates to take on such trainings? See, often training is considered as an event. So people go away for a day or two and they think overnight they will change. So the difference between a bulletproof manager program or any other program is the fact that they, we approach leadership development as a journey and not you know it's not just about learning something new it's also about applying it and making sure that they are able to transfer that knowledge back at work any training that is just at the training level or any learning that happens just at the learning level and people just go back and do the same things over doesn't have any impact on the business but the moment they go back and apply back at work and there is some monitoring that happens irrespective of whether you're the vice president or whether you're the first first time leader it's a very critical factor for the success of that leadership development program and we believe we have a very strong process a very strong platform through which we do this as well and that differentiates us and we actually have a position called the learning embedding officer whose sole responsibility is to ensure that this person who's undergone this learning initiative will actually go back and implement it back at work. Lovely. And a final question to you, Conrad. Um, Crescom is synonymous with leadership development, leadership training. Am I right? Yes. And uh, today, as we saw the room full of leaders with us taking India and gearing up to take the world forward, what does leadership development mean to you? That's a very difficult question to answer in, in a short time. Uh, but what comes to mind is uh, staying relevant. I think if, if today's leaders can stay relevant to all their stakeholders, I think that's really what leadership is all about. Can I stay relevant to my team? Can I stay relevant to the function I work with? Can I stay relevant to my organization? And can I make my organization relevant to the environment? So I think a true leader has that big picture and puts everything together to be relevant. That's Lovely. Okay. Thank you. We're here at the ITC Windsor a breakfast session with CXOs 
and a very insightful and thought-provoking conversation this morning. Congratulations on the event and we wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you.